Right, you guys got another video. You are not deleting your files permanently. I've seen a lot of people talking about when they permanently delete files by holding the shift key down and it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete all of these items? These files can be recovered quite easily, even though that it's telling you that they are permanently deleted from the recycle bin or even from your computer. As you can see here, when we empty the recycle bin and permanently delete these files, they are not permanently deleted and they can be recovered. So you don't really want to use this method on sensitive data. Deleting it this way will not shred the file using an overwriting process when we delete data and stop you from recovering that data forever. Data recovery software is freely available on the internet, which will allow you to recover all of this sensitive information that you may have deleted in your recycle bin and being fooled by the word permanently deleted. This could be sensitive information like birth certificates, uh, birthday parties or videos, embarrassing photos that you might have, it also driving license copies. It might have also a big face reveal of Brightech in there that we want to definitely protect. It also could be those personal holiday photos that you have, your tax returns, and it also might be that embarrassing office party that you went to that you don't want no one to see. So these are sensitive information. They could be all different file types, whether a JPEG, PNG, whether it be uh, text files, Word documents, any of these. And if you just simply right click on these and delete them and hold the shift key down and it says delete, and it will tell you that, are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? It doesn't necessarily mean it is permanently deleting that file. That's the misconception a lot of people see. I'm going to show you a cool way of doing this using S-Delete, which was made by Mark Rusovinich. And uh, I probably butchered that name, but he now works for Microsoft. And this program is a free program you can use. It will secure delete files using the DOD method, which is called Department of Defense. This is used to sanitize files and delete them and stop them from being recovered. The DOD 5220.22 M method is the DOD method, which you can use, which the Ministry of Defense use. It will use a sequence of passes when it's deleting the file. The most common method involves three passes, overwriting with zeros and then overwriting with ones and then it will overwrite with a random pattern of letters and numbers on that file when it's being deleted. So it will make it impossible to recover that file and see the contents of the data of that file. Now you can use sdelete GUI and this is a really useful tool which will allow us to choose what files we want to erase. It will still use the sdelete program but it's using a right click GUI based interface which will allow us to easily choose what files we want to secure delete from our system. You don't have to secure delete every file, you can just delete the more sensitive ones using this method and this will save you from having to go into command prompt and delete it that way you can just use the GUI interface to delete it so this tool adds the right click option but it does not contain the logic for deletion it uses sdelete which is microsoft's sys internals which was originally written by mark uh, rosinovich now to perform the file and folder deletion using the united states department of defense compliant algorithm you can click on the link to download the sdelete utility all sdelete uh, gui is doing is using a gui interface it's still using the original sdelete which has been created uh, by microsoft now so you are using the official program it's just giving you a useful uh, gui interface which will make deleting of files a lot more easier and you can choose what algorithm you want to delete the file with so we have there's some sensitive information here that we want to erase. And here we have the S delete. And it will look something like this. How many passes will it use? You can choose how many algorithm overwrites that you want to use to delete that file. Now the DOD method uses a free pass method, but if you want to make it even more secure, you can use more passes 
on their deletion to make it impossible to recover that file. I'm going to stick it to free because that is the recommended uh, Department of Defense um, standard for deleting files. All we need to do is put this on free and we can click enable. And now we've configured sdelete to use free passes when we're deleting any sort of files on our system. If you need a bit more security, you can up it as much as you like. But free is going to be enough. The more you put on there, the longer it's going to take to delete the file. So when you right click on Windows 11, you'll notice here that it's not visible here because we've got this double uh, context menu, which is a bit of a pain. If you want to bypass this without using any registry tweaks to make it the classic context menu, you can hold the shift key down, the left shift key and right click on it and it will then bring up the classic right click context menu. So basically you'll see it uh, when we hover over the file itself. So hold the shift key down, left shift, and then right click, and you will then see we have the secure delete right here. We can now click on this, and it will secure erase that file. We just need to set it up once here. You'll only see this agreement once. It's because we haven't set it up. So we're going to agree to their terms, and it's now deleted. Every time from now on, we'll just remove this file. So let's say we want to remove this holiday photo. Hold the left shift key down and push secure delete. Now, of course, if you've got your classic menu, you don't need to hold the left shift key down. You could just click right click and do secure delete and it will delete it. And it will use free passes to remove that file and it will completely bypass the recycle bin and delete it and make it non-recoverable. Now, if we have something really sensitive here and you definitely don't want that um, showing itself, you can double click on here and change the amount that you want to uh, enable it by. So let's go ahead and deactivate it and then re-enable this feature. You can see it's set to 10 passes here. And again, it's entirely up to you. I think free is enough in my honest opinion, but you're going to get paranoid people out there that want to do way more than that. Now I do want to point out that uh, Estelite will actually secure delete files, even on SSDs and mechanical drives but the real way of wiping the whole drive is completely different and Estelite would not be my choice of tool for that. So the trim command and also other ways of erasing data on the drive for SSDs would be a much more efficient way of doing things. But for deleting single files like this or folders, it will work perfectly fine and it will secure erase, delete those files and make them non-recoverable. Now, an important thing to remember is files cannot be recovered after being deleted with sdelete because of the tool overwrites the data, making it unrecoverable. So use this method at your own risk, because once you hit the delete button on this and it deletes it, it's not coming back. So remember, if you don't want to use this anymore, you can disable it and stop using sdelete. It's it's made by Microsoft. It's a really great tool for deleting files. If you want to use, say, for instance, another particular type of method, which will use the NIST SP800-88 method for erasing files, then you can use that method by using a batch file or even other particular types of software that you might have to purchase. But a batch file like this would still have that capability of removing these files and I'll quickly show you here there's a batch file that uses that standard of deletion for SSDs it's solely designed for uh, SSDs because SSDs work in a different way to a mechanical drive and deleting these files you could use this method by just dragging it straight onto that um, batch file here and you'll see it will come up with a free pass deletion method and it will basically erase that file if you want to use the batch file method. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the right click uh, context menu feature because this is a batch file, but you would just drop the files onto the batch file and it will secure erase them with a free uh, overwrite method at using the standard that we mentioned earlier on. So if you want to get a little bit more security conscious with deleting your sensitive information, then this video should help you out. 
Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.